men go in at 7.15. Uh, a lot of us show up early because we have particular groups of people we like to stick with. I'm usually in 2 East, bed 15. Something you have to get used to, because, you know, you're with hundreds and hundreds of people every night. You know, it's like, you don't feel like you have any privacy. Unfortunately, we don't have any storage in the shelter, so it's like a state park. What you bring in, you have to take out with you every single day, and that's an incredibly tough lifestyle. Yeah, I got a, I had a Kevin Patch doll given to me. 20 years old. And it's worth money. Um, life changes for all of us, sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. Any of us could be in their situation. The roles could be easily reversed, and not just in some fantasy way, but actually in real life. I've never met a group of individuals that work so hard to support each other just to get through their day-to-day -day life. So it's actually, it's, it's the most hopeful place I've ever been, and yet there's still tragedy every day. I was born in Portland, uh, Caitlin. This is my husband, Daniel Harrison. We've been here for um, almost 12 months, 11 months. I used to be in punk bands in other states, in Florida and North Carolina, and I was a severe alcoholic, and I came here, uh, well, I came here for the reason that I have a daughter in Lewiston. I found out when she was six months old, she's two now, uh, I tried to quit drinking a few times and did a terrible job at it. Uh, one night I just had what they call a moment of clarity, and all I could think about was my daughter not having her father anymore. I possibly have a job, so yeah. working, working to try and get out of this situation. A lot of our uh, men and women work part-time work to try and get in full-time. We have many individuals that will walk to Westbrook, walk to South Portland five days a week to work for five or six hours to just get their foot in the door someplace. Um, we have somebody that walks to the main mall every single day to work a three, four, five hour shift just to come back because it might lead down the road to something more permanent. I am 89 years old. I'll be 90 the 28th of May. And I came from Westbrook. My name is Iola Silva. And I've been hunting for rent since October, first part of October. And I haven't found anything that I can afford. I've heard people say, oh, why do you want to live in a place like this? You know what? You're out in the cold, you've got no place to go. Come here, you got a warm bed to sleep in, you got three meals a day. You want to thank God for it, too. I would like to be warm. I would not like to be standing in line. I would like to be watching The Walking Dead on TV watching the Patriots game without someone standing in front of me. I would just like to be my own person again, where I was a year ago. I, I'd, I'd like to have uh, a house, uh, an apartment that my wife and I can share, and uh, I'd like for her to go back to school, and I'd like to go back to school as well. The best day here is the most difficult day of somebody's life. And so we need to recognize that and try and honor each individual person. We have doctors, professors, uh, we have, and then we have folks that have done day labor veterans that have worked their entire life uh, serving the country and are here in the shelter. So there's a little bit of everybody and, and almost nobody, once you get to know them, meets any stereotype. <laughs>